before I start this video, I just want to say somehow me and Agent both came up with the same video on the same exact day. I don't even know how, but before I'm recording the commentary for this video, somehow Agent already put out a similar video. So all I got to say is, hey, clap it up. That's why they call him Agent. My man's hacked into my mainframe hacked into my brain and grabbed the idea but anyways like i told you guys before nba 2k 11 is my favorite 2k hands down and i also said i would get into some of the game modes that i really liked in the game now this first one is definitely one that i really messed with on the game which one of you guys remembers mj creating a legend now i think that needs to be back that was one of the craziest game modes ever on 2k now it was pretty hard to beat some of them at least for me i don't know this was back when i was like a little timothy it was hard i couldn't i couldn't beat every single one i wish they still had it in this 2k that was so lit like being able to recreate all of mj's moments maybe you can even add on like you know look i'm not comparing them maybe you could add on lebron's moments kobe's uh dion waiters um you know, just add on everybody, all the greats moments and and have it so we can recreate them, whatever, you know, be able to play on different teams with them, whatever the case is. I thought that was pretty fun. You guys let me know. I know some of you guys were saying that in the comment section. My team drive champions. This is a no brainer. This should have been in the game a long time ago. Now, for those of you guys that don't play Madden, what you do is you drive by a round. There's 15 rounds of Madden, obviously because the NFL team is bigger. You take out of these cards in the middle right here. So there's three picks. You pick one out of those three cards, and then that card is what you end up playing with on your team. You got to do that 15 times. Now, with 2K, obviously, it'd be a little bit different. There's a lot less players that are on a team. It's like 15 players per team. So I set up something like this. It probably wouldn't look anything like that, but that was just my little attempt at just what I think 2K should do. I don't know. However they do it, it should definitely be in the game. That's, that should just be facts. I've never heard anyone say this before, but online my career should definitely be a thing. You guys ever played Madden and played franchise mode? You know how you can make a player and then your friends make players and you guys play on different teams, whatever? What if you could play on the same team as your friend in the game? Like, not like some pro-am type joint, but actually going up against like NBA players, competing for MVP, Rookie of the Year, stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty lit. I don't know if 2K would even have the technology to make. Man, you know what? It's 2017. Come up with the technology if you don't have it, man. I need that in the game. I don't know. That's just me. You guys probably don't have the same thoughts on that. But let me know in the comment section. We have some good conversations in there. Some of y'all just cringe. Y'all like, bro, stop trying. I got to keep trying, man. It's not the same. Y'all, look. No matter what game modes we bring, whatever, pro am, whatever, that's not crew. That's not crew. Everybody who played crew, you guys all know. That's not crew. I need a bench. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I need a bench. I need a coach. I, I need all that. That's not, we're not playing real basketball until I get regular crew the way it was. Like, don't get me wrong. Pro M is really fun. My only issue is why are all the AIs so stupid? I'm just going to keep it true. That's the way it is. All the AIs are just badgering idiots. I need to be able to play with like LeBron James or something or D-Wade or even if we can't do that at least give us the ability to upgrade those AIs like 55 overall for all AIs even if you're an elite team that's crazy that's crucial to me that's one thing two if your guy is able to get that tired in the game there has to be a bench there has to be a bench like just the fact of you spamming timeouts that is not realistic spamming timeouts in order to get your guy not tired like come on not 2k we have to have a bench. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just the way basketball is. When you're playing a full entire game, nobody plays 48 minutes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry to tell you that, but I need a bench. Yo, Prince is wildin', son. Prince is wild. No, I'm not wildin'. I need that. At least make it a DLC or something. Like, why are all the street games gone? Why? Why? I know everybody would play it. I know everybody would buy it. I know everybody would put it on YouTube. Why not? I, I, I don't see why not. It's just an easy, an easy extra $20 for 2K. You make them junk, look, you have them junks have the, the NBA Live 14 graphics, or, or you can just keep just the same. I don't know. Just make it more arcadey type feel, make it a DLC, and just, I don't know, just put legends in that junk. Something just simple, real simple, and I guarantee that it'll make the longevity of the game just a little bit longer. Don't even drop it at release. Just you could drop it like when the game starts getting dry. 2K has to start using DLCs to their advantage, bro. I feel like 
if they were releasing DLCs throughout the year, then the game would actually probably have more content. But that's just that's just me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know some game modes that you guys would like to see in 2K. And also, if you guys want to see me do a concept on any one of these modes, NBA Street, um, let me know in the comments. And I'll be sure to do a full in-depth, more editing, more ideas, concept on it. I just wanted to give you guys my five ideas that I think should definitely be in 2K.